Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are diving into Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon Edition, an amazing operating system for both system administrator and developer. Whether you are new to the Linux or switching from another distribution, I will guide you through the essential things you must do after installing Linux Mint 22. Stick around to make your system secure fast and ready for productivity. Before we dive into this step, let's take a quick look at the three editions of Linux Mint such as Cinnamon, Mate and XFCE. Cinnamon, this is a flagship edition and provide a modern, polished and visual appealing desktop environment. It perfects for systems with a decent hardware. And Mate edition is a lightweight and stable desktop environment based on Genome 2 designed for older or less power machines. And XFCE Edition even lighter than a mate, it's highly customizable and great for very old hardware or minimal system requirements. As you can see, some of the things I have added on my screen in Notepad. If you want, you can take a screenshot of it. In this video, we will focus on Linux Mint 22 edition. Cinnamon Edition, since it is the most popular and provides an excellent balance of performance and usability. Let's move on to the Linux Mint. Here you can see I am using Linux Mint 22.1 Cinnamon Edition. These are the kernel details, processor details, memory and hard disk. So let me close this and open terminal. First thing first, update your system, open the terminal and run the following command sudo apt update sudo apt upgrade hyphen y. I have already updated the system. This ensure your system is up to date with the latest security patch and software version apt update command fetches the latest package list and apt upgrade command install available updates once done you are ready to proceed this is done next let's ensure all your drivers are installed especially for gpus wi-fi and other hardware go to the driver manager go to the driver manager from the menu Linux Mint will automatically detect any proprietary drivers you might need and let you install them with just a few clicks. This step is crucial for ensuring optimal performance especially if you are using NVIDIA GPUs or other proprietary hardware. As you can see it is looking for the drivers. If anything is there it will allow us to download. As you can see no drivers needed, everything is installed and updated. So we will close the driver manager. Let's configure this system. Linux Mint update manager is designed to keep your system up to date securely and efficiently. Open the update manager and review the update list. By default Linux Mint Categorize updates into level to ensure stability. So there is no need for manual configuration. Critical updates are applied automatically. As you can see, the system is up to date. There is no any action to be performed on update manager. Let's close this. The update manager ensures that essential updates are prioritized and safely applied. So your system remains secure and stable. So let's see how to install essential software. Linux Mint does not come with every tool pre-installed. So let's add some essential software. You can use software manager for GUI based. Let me show that software manager. Or else you can run on a terminal side by side. I will show you. You 
we can run a sudo apt install build essential for compiling tools it will install let's see if it is already installed or not build essential is already the newest version so let's see the other apt install git for version control let's install it on the right hand side of my window software manager it's generating the cache so it will take some time to side by side we will also install via command so these are the two ways to install the softwares one is via cli using the terminal and another is from a GUI using software manager. So if you want to install, you can install sudo apt install. I want vim editor. You can install it via this. It is getting installed vim editor. As you can see it right hand side, there are plenty of softwares are available. From here also you can install it. If you want VirtualBox, you can install from here, Telegram, Dropbox, FileZilla, all the tools, tools you can install from the software manager using GUI by just clicking on it. Build essentials are necessary for compiling software from source and the Git essentials for the developer to manage code repository and the Vim editor a powerful text editor for admins and developers. Customize the Cinnamon Desktop. Linux Mint Cinnamon Desktop is highly customizable. You can go to the settings, system settings, and here you can change the theme to change the look and feel of the system. You can do it from here. Download the additional themes by clicking on add or remove from here you can download the themes from here install applet and extension via applets and extension menu to add the functionality like system monitor or quick access menu right click the panel to adjust its position or layout to match your workflow So this is the thing and assume that you want to install any software from here from the browser from browsing the software manager here you can install it so let me close this let me clear the screen and let's see how we can enable the firewall security is the key Linux Mint use UFW like this you can enable the UFW like this you can enable the firewall this will activate the firewall and protect your system from unauthorized access the output will confirm that the firewall is active for advanced configuration you can use sudo UFW status to check the rule or set custom one UFW. it is status it shows active and you also you can set up the time shift backup linux mint includes time shift a fantastic tool for creating a system snapshot launch time sheet by select Select your preferred backup type and schedule regular backups. If anything goes wrong during the update or installation, you can directly restore your system very easily from the backups. Let's see time shift. Here it will show you how to take a backup using rsync. It will start taking a backup. 
this is how we can use time shift backup if you want to install media codes you can install via this gui from software manager or you can use it terminal to install it here you can see it is taking the it will create a snapshot if i click on finish it will start taking the snapshot you can create it from here it will show map multiple snapshot you can create and also you can restore to the snapshot at a given time this will take some time till then let's go to the next step so if i want to install mint meta codex typo mistake no it's right this will allow you to play mp3 mp4 and other proprietary formats it will take time to take the backup side by side it is also installing the software i will pause the video and i will resume back once it is done as you can see it started creating a snapshot and on the terminal we have installed the software media codex now let's install the virtualization tool if you are developer or a system admin working with the vms installing virtual box or other virtualization tool will help so if you want to install virtual box run this command this will install the virtual box on your machine these steps ensure you can set up and test virtual environment easily on linux mint let me pause the video as you can see virtual box tool has been installed on the linux mint so side by side we have also parallelly started a snapshot let's see the status this is also completed as you can see it's created a one snapshot and the size of the snapshot is 5.2 gb let me close this and let's see the next option how to optimize system performance last step to optimize your system use the system monitor to track the resource usage adjust the swappiness to improve the performance on low memory systems let me run this command so we have adjusted the swappiness to improve the performance on low memory system and there you have it everything you must do after installing linux mint 22 cinnamon edition for updates to customization and security settings you are now set up for a smooth and productive experience if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe and also share your thoughts in the comments below thanks for watching